very typical Asian haircut, that guy. Uh, and there's the mo- the mother in the back. Spoilers, but you can see the mother in the background. Of course, it would just look like, it looks like a, a giant one of these guys. Change will take you. Soon you will be one of us. Soon be one of us. So hungry. Oh no. What? Who are you? Uh, I am one of you. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, well. Lies. You are not cannibal or changing like these new ones. You like these new ones. Like like there's a cut. Staff. staff. No, I mean drunken master. Ha ha. The longer you use it, the more powerful it is, right? So, why not, right? Chaos! She strike! If I'm gonna be using Drunken Master, I mean, like, why am I, uh... Why am I maxed out in weapon styles? Whatever, it's the the boost is towards, um... What calls it? The gem boost is towards everything, so it doesn't really matter. Damage increased, style points. Okay, wait. I need to change my style. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom! Yo, that lay Wulong! Down for the no no the dragon threat dragon three, boom boom boom. Lei Long needs some of these things. Please be in Tekken three. I mean Tekken seven. Lei, oh give me that. Need more of that drunken master. So what am I like Bruce Chan now? How come nobody's ever done a movie where it's like Bruce Lee plus Jackie Chan? I'd watch that even though it was like a shitty B movie. Whatever. Chi multiplayer increase. Yeah, the longer you use it, the more powerful it is. As long as you don't switch styles. Woo, those guys got wrecked. Oh my god. I wish I was bigger so right now or something. If you guys haven't watched or whatever, anybody has not watched the uh, Le the Legend of the Dragon Master Jackie Chan's breakout film, you definitely should. And you should watch the uh, the English dub where it's all British because back then uh, Hong Kong was owned by uh, the British. It's fucking hilarious. It's just you're seeing Jackie Chan with like a posh British accent. Haha. -ha. Right. They're not human. They're changing us. They're changing us. I can't believe this. My girlfriend found out she's gonna kill me. Come on up. They're, they're capturing people, changing some, and eating the rest. By the spirits, you have to help me. How do I help you? There's no way to stop. I don't want to turn. Kill me. I I won't. But not like this. I'd rather watch you suffer. Yep. A mercy. This is so terrible, but it's for the best. Thank you. Oh man, that's actually kind of sad. How would I kill him? Oh, I just snapped his neck. Imagine you like make it like as painless as possible, or whatever. Whoa, those are some re-dead looking corpses. This is some Ocarina of Time shit. Undecipherable stone tablet and fear intimidation gem. Okay, I don't know why I made a noise like that. Holy crap, these people are literally skinned. Whoa, this there. Whoa, yeah, this uh. These guys have been taking some notes from the Order in Silent Hill. Fuck. Oh, there's nothing here. What a pointless fucking corner. Uh, you can spill these over and actually do damage. Uh, maybe buy more of that drunken style? Zinbu, sell me more shit. Where is he? Oh, he's in parties. Uh, sell me more of that drunken style. Excellent. I have many items just waiting for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, style points, though. I got a bunch. It's time for Ogre style to get the best. Boom! Wait a second, no. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. I was gonna max out 1,000 cuts. Oh no, what was I gonna do with it? I had 10 points. Was I really gonna put it all into something else? Oh well. I guess I was gonna put it into Ogre. Oh well. Whatever, I'm like... Ah, I'm here, talking to myself like a crazy person. But I've talked about this before. I've already done this. Why does he run away, though? Oh, the rat demons. I thought they were uh, other cannibals. Well, the weakest team, and you wouldn't want to transform into these guys. Boom, 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 boom. I like how it's a special circle, too. Hey! What are you doing? Don't do that to me. Oh, wow, he interrupted me. Boom, boom, boom. Just fall down on you. Lay Wulong back turn 1 plus 1 plus 2. 1, 1 plus 2. That's fin I think that's what it is. Uh, once again, people who don't know Tekken are not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. But it's like, hey, you watch my channel, but you don't know Tekken? What's wrong with you? You crazy person. How did you even come to this conclusion? <laughs> uh, nice backflip, by the way, after that. And I backflip, like Kip Up, I think that's what's called. She used that move more in Tekken. Kia! Boom! Backflip over to that. Everything's not a backflip, son, you gotta relax. Rat enemies. 
The rats in Dark Souls look disgusting, I gotta say. They're uh, amongst the worst of the rats I've seen. Like, they're all diseased and shit. Especially in the sewers in Dark Souls 1. Ugh. The sewers is my least favorite area of that game. Maybe except the ash tree. Because basilisks and the slimes. Ugh, oh, the slimes. Don't even want to talk about the slimes. Enemies that are just goo. I hate that shit. I hate goo in general, like... Like, even, like, jello. Stuff like that. That stuff's no good. Oh, 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 dead. Uh, bones? Anything? R of Calm Gem. What else we got? Flawed Warrior Gem. Oh, I'm healed? Okay. So, where's- wait, where the fuck is Onstar? Oh, there you are. Is there any- Uh. No. Okay, never mind. I wanted to know if you could talk to them about where we are, because, uh, and remember in Kodor 1, you could talk to some of your party members and be like, what do you think about the situation? And then they would say some lines of additional dialogue. Ooh, this looks fancy. More guys on the left, more guys on the right. We'll challenge them. More guys down the center, I'll challenge them all. Oh, gold star. I forgot to buy wine. It's fine. So, you wish to taste my staff? Fine, so be it! Boom! I mean, uh, I, wanted, I wanted to do this. Boom! It seems to have a bigger range than the Drunken Master. You'll never see me coming! <laughs> oh, God. Some old kung fu movies, you know. Uh, I actually need to watch more Jet Li films. If you believe it, I have never watched it, man. And I've been wanting to for a while. And I'm just a lazy son of a bitch who does not do stuff like that. That does, that does, that does not do stuff he says he will do. That's basically who I am, so, uh, bad times. Holy shit, there's a lot of you guys. Uh, I'm trying to hold in a sneeze. <clears throat> Fucking gremlin dude. I don't understand how this is power. They just... Like, I'm whacking them with a stick and they're dying. I mean, they look like... They look like Gollum. And... Well, I guess Gollum is immortal. Like, you know, he's like hundreds of hundred years old. But I think... Oh, no, no, no. It was the ring that makes him less hungry. Because, like, I remember Bilbo was way past his prime when... Frodo was around and he used to look good for his age. That's because of the ring lets him live longer. It's like it like lengthens your life expectancy kind of thing. I think I guess Gollum had it for such a long time that he's pretty much immortal. Until he fell into Mount Doom, so wrecked. Oh, see there they are. Yes, well, it's obvious you two are fine on your own. I'll just wait here. Right. No no you don't. We'll all go together. Besides, I need you to keep the wine flowing. I'm always more dangerous. Yeah, wine, but for beer. We should move. There could be... There's one there! Are they coming out of the walls? I'll go make sure they aren't trying to cut us off. You deal with the mother. Oh. That's what happens. Oh, you're forced to take Black well, there's no turning back now. Who knows how many more cannibals... Yeah, see, it, look at this. It forced us to use... This, uh... Forced us to... Forced me to use these two anyways. Uh... And you're not gonna use Orgo style against the boss. Um... That's what I was talking about. There's a cutscene if you when you fight the mother, and it's like you know Black Roland and Henpeck Toe are both in it, and I wanted to see what happens if you didn't have them, and I forgot that they're forced to come. Oh, also unique animations. Once again, I like these cutscenes. It's like, hey, where is it? These are just rocks. Well, that's not a rock. <laughs> His face is like, what the fuck? <laughs> dun dun. I also like this battle song. Bump, 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 bump. Oh shit. Nice I was able to tackle the big guy like that though. <laughs> He's fucking out his Lego fucking shit. Yeah, use your drunken kung fu. And the looking at him, I was like, wow, there's a lot of. Boom, boom, boom. Nice axe throw. Boohoo. Ow, ow. Get let go, let go. Wreck. Is this a boss fight or is this? Yeah, this is a boss fight. Because I remember if you notice the pillars falling, that's how you actually beat the mother. She just kills the fight. Ah, I'm spoiling everything, but yeah, just the rocks fall on top of her, he dies, so whatever. I was like, how could this not, not be a boss fight, right? Yeah, well, are you prepared for the yoga style? Didn't think so. Boop. Oh, immune? Are you kidding me? Oh, maybe that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I might die here. Yep. Okay, that you have to actually kill all the pillars. You can't actually fight the mother. Unless they're just immune to that style, which I hope that's not the... I mean, I don't think that's the it's case. Too late to turn back now. Yeah, it's too late to turn back now. I'll just skip this cutscene. Oh, he pushed me. What a jerk. 
Oh my god, I can't skip this. <laughs> well, uh, see, see, uh... Anyways, so, uh, let's kill these pillars. And I was actually listening to that cutscene again. It sounds like Black Roland's voice by Clancy Brown. A.K.A., um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Krabs, amongst other things. Joe be in for a surprise, ha ha ha. So yeah, just kill all these. It's, that's pretty much the boss fight, I guess. I don't think you can hurt the mother. Is there actually a reward for actually trying to hit the mother? Let me see. I don't think there is. Immune, yeah, that's what I thought. So you can't hurt her. Whatever. And she does a fuck ton, holy shit. So this is the real boss fight, anyway. And there you go, it's just like the over it's over already. Wrecked. So I can't kill her with my big ass ogre club, but uh, falling rocks. Yeah, there's the cutscene. You'll notice that uh, there's actually like a bloom effect in this um, cutscene, so if I were to change my character model to one of the not six playable characters, I mean, there's six? I think it's actually seven because Tiger Shen is a DLC uh, only for Jade Empire Special Edition. Uh, his character model will not show up properly here if I chose anybody besides those six because it's uh, not a pre they're not counted in the pre-rendered uh, CGI movie. Talking about all this technical stuff, probably like not really interesting, but hey, whatever. You play games for like a long time, you notice these things. Hi. So when are we banging? Uh, well, yep. She would have to be. That hill collapsed like a bad cake. Why does your face look weird all of a sudden? So weird, so weird, so weird. So she already spoke to Lord Yun. So I'm getting my wind map, so that's the end of this arc. Well, I suppose that's it. Yeah. Safe. Thank the heavens. When the earth started to shake, I was cut off from you. The inn's pretty quiet. I think we. You stop. Yeah. I'm glad we came through here. Those beasts had to be destroyed. Thanks. You should probably go down to his camp and check with Lord Young. Yeah, 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 okay, whatever. And he'll and him the other dude will just, just go somewhere else. So that's the forest arc. Uh that's pretty much everything you do in this area. There's a few couple side quests have to do with these little shrine things you see, but uh they're not really important for our purposes. Uh eight. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Done. Doesn't really want to level up anything there. Moonlight, Eyes of the Dragon, Toad Demon. I have Toad Demon. I could try it. Uh, I could also try Eyes of the Dragon, see if that's any good. Uh, let's try that. Let's try going for all damage, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna replace uh, what do you call it? A Golden Star with it. See if it's any good. Uh, Golden Star, replace it with the Eyes of the Dragon. Okay. okay exit. Ah, uh, Lord, you want to give me a damn wood wrap? I wondered how long it would be before you made your way down here. I'm Thanks, sure Ken I don't Watanabe. Need to tell you the forest shadow Everybody's Ken Watanabe. <laughs> Let them fight. She Not a monster, happening on my but a oh god. <laughs> oh, Ken Watanabe. You overact all the time, but it's fine. Uh, this is a matter of the wind map. Here is the wind map you wanted. The copy is near perfect, and I assure you. Uh, what will you do now? We will stay on here for a while. These a while? Need a while. Besides, I think I have some old family business to... Uh, I think it's time I left. See you later. Uh, can I talk to these guards? Bloody hills caving on its left from the sounds of it. We can't leave this place soon enough. We were not sure if you would be safe. So, uh, we can go back to Tian's Landing. Uh, that's pretty much all we can do there in the forest. That's done for now. Let's just said that twice. <laughs> it's not a joke, I'm just stupid. Anyways, we're gonna go back to the camp. And we are going to... What you call it? We are going to talk to Dawnstar. Because I believe... I'm not really sure what I'm doing on this. Either I could go with her romance or the eventual Silk Fox romance. I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna go with. But, I mean, I might as well get started with this one. I might do, like, a gamble. You know, like, just, like, toss it up in the air. Um, what she calls it. Like, just do an online randomizer. Like, pick for me, Dawnstar or fucking Silk Fox. Either, like, the rowdy 
like rebellious type or a really nice gentle girl type you know either you want your cute girl or you want your wild girl choice is yours pick now or forever hold your peace this fucking GTA look wow the, you know what I think about it? that JPEG in the skybox it looks really you could see the uh, pixelation that's kind of bad but only if you stare at it long enough only if you stare at it long enough but these god rays look really nice though uh, come back to camp and everybody's here are we certain there is no room for us to stay in Tian's Landing? Do we really need to camp outside? Your mouth is clipping through your thing the again. The ground is soft enough for a warrior. Walls just get in the way when a fighting starts. Besides, I've yet to find a bed that fits me. Hey, big man. Not everyone has a hide as thick as yours. <laughs> uh, we must toughen up. It's the worst for encounter. I'll be surprised. I'll make sure you have extra blankets, Don Starlow. Extra blankets? All you need is some strong wine to keep you warm at night. Hey, do you think you could find us some of that strong wine you're talking about? Right. Uh, so talk to you. The forest was a disturbing now this is going to be the long part where I talk about her past and her character. If we could spare some time, could we talk about what we have seen? This is a very Bioware-esque, like, what you call it? What's the word? Ugh, fuck me. Ugh. Formulaic uh, plot design. Where after every major event, you can talk to a character and they have more to say, but not in between. Only afterwards. Uh, this carries on like all of their games, whatever. Our time in the forest was very troubling to me. To see such distance between the concerns of men and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sensitive to these things for as long there goes as that Dawnstar theme where it's all bubbly. Although I'm a fan of it, I like that Chinese music. I like that Chinese music. <laughs> Sound like a crazy guy. Is this a personal feeling we have more things to talk about? Nope. Uh, my character does not really have a personality other than I'm just gonna suck up the Dawnstar and be like, Hey, sleep with me. Tell me about how sensitive are you? Be serious. <sighs> this worries me. The world seems to be filling up with wayward spirits. That it affected the forest shadow is very disturbing. Yes, I bet it, it is. It makes me wonder how deep the trouble goes and what mortals like us are supposed to do about it. What do you think? Master Lee thought you were Every time I say Master Lee, I keep thinking they're saying Master Yi. League of Legends. Can you comfort me? Comfort yourself. I have no interest in helping the Wii grow independent. I mean, dependent. Uh, no, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, you know, you can ask for anything as long as your company is. As long as I have your company, your Dawnstar. It's just what I was looking for, and I'm grateful. I know we will do what we can. It's funny because the way you like build your well, your uh, romance with Don Star, you just be super nice to her. But then it's like you don't end up getting friend zone because it's, I'm the only guy. Aha! Besides like Sagacious Zoo and he's like stoic as fuck and no one wants to get a black Rowan and like and Poke Tao is like nah. So I mean, it's fine. <laughs> These guys have stuff to say. What do you got to say? What do you want? Uh, what do you want? You know what I like about this place? Absolutely nothing. Thanks. Why does it matter? I was born by my mother and sucked at her teeth like every man. Well, like every man does with his mother. Man, um, that was strange. Anyway, I don't know why he was emphasis on his, but swing an axe. My father was dead and my mother disowned me. Of course, killing my father. I think she did it out of shame. My father beat me and my brother. So uh, abusive relationship. Ha! I wasn't brave. I traveled a lot after that, begging for some things and taking the rest. Tough times, but not the worst. My accent. Ah, uh, your wits, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had some wits before I got them all knocked out of me. Mostly, I just used my <laughs> axes and my fists. Yes, yes, yes. You think a seven year might be an easy target, but I soon learned just where to cut a man to make him squeal like a pig. Ah, those were the days. A little bit psychotic, don't you think? Uh, Mr. Henpeg Drunken Master. Prosperous tiding. Uh, what can Humble Ho do to assist you today? Damn, he is skinny as hell. Uh, yeah. It would seem we have our work cut out. Okay. So, yeah, okay, nothing else. So, Geisha Zhu, I think you already said your piece with Hui. So now we continue to the other major part, the dam. Whatever. Uh, ghosts denied access to the world, and they go mad as they wander the earth. You think about that? That's cool. What the? Oh, so fox again. Managed to survive. They didn't know you were gonna I be here, actually. Your... Another ambush? You barely escaped. Ah. Uh -huh. More skilled than I expected, but I rarely need to escape from anyone. I had to 
step back, which allowed me to see that you are not my enemy. Yeah, well, you're not that great. You may call me Silk Fox. I apologize for my previous aggression, but I thought you were in league with an enemy of mine. I was clearly mistaken. She she talks with such like an up class posh, not posh, but like such a bratty tone. Sometimes I've never heard anyone ever use that word before. I know what it means, but wow, <laughs> my face is going like it. My face is going nuts. What do you want? I want nothing more than for you to continue your journey. Of course you do. He was taken by death's hand. I could tell. What's the price? A simple trade. Oh, look at this super that that like that animation right there is like the super flirty stance stance. They always do that whenever like flirting with you. Uh, you should probably shouldn't going around telling him who he is. You mix truth with lies. He must be more for death's hand to keep him alive. Stick. Upriver from this village is a pirate stronghold. The river. Okay, thanks for telling me about that. Uh, uh, help me defeat. I have matters of my own to attend. If you. Okay, thanks. Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, I got experience for talking to to that bitch. <laughs> that bitch. And you want a romance? Eh? Calling it that bitch is wrong with me. How come I slip into my New Jersey accent from time to time? This is not even a Jersey accent. It's like a weird accent. It's like that Peter Dinklage. That Peter Dinklage weird British accent he does in Game of Thrones that's like not really British, but it's not really American. It's like Brit American. It's like a weird thing. It's like Westerosian, if that's even a thing. Hey, an assassin supply cabinet. Dragon powder. No idea what the hell that is. Probably, well, it's probably another word for gunpowder. Uh, oh, staff. Holy shit, that style is awesome. Tell me what I should know. <laughs> he reminds me of... I don't even know. Imp from World of Warcraft, but also many other things. I, I forget what specifically. He reminds me of like a Looney Tunes character, doesn't know. But maybe you like gems. Rat Demon feels gem is very close. Rat Demon tells you where gem is, then you let Rat Demon live. Yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, where's Demon? He's hidden behind wall. Okay. Okay, yeah, I remember. All right. So we get all the dragon powder and then blow up a wall where the gem is. Uh, I believe turn left. No. Okay, I like Eyes of the Dragon better. Holy shit, that's. I mean, I don't know how much better Golden Star would do, but holy shit, these swords, though. They are doing work. My god. Here's some dudes. Oh, wait, you can blow- you? Damn it! Idiot. He's obviously I could have used that cannon and killed them. Oh, well. It's fine. Uh, All oh, the double stab, I like that. I don't know why I'm using this so much, though. I mean, I'm kind of wasting my focus. Holy shit, you actually did a lot. Oh, 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 oh. The endless fury of punches. There is no weakness. Actually, the kind of is. It's kind of slow, but I mean, whatever. It's fine. Don't forget. Forget about it. Ah, the, this is where this the the side quest is. Talk. Watch to the left, and then there's this guy, and then he's like, ah, there's people here. I shall taste children's here. Something strange about you, but I smell you the same. Come out now, children. I, th I believe that's a reference to the. Child Napper from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Really good movie, if you're, you know, mad enough to watch a musical. That guy was super scary, though, as a kid, the Child Napper. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, Thousand Cuts. Why, hello there. Toph Bay Fong. Why are you here? No one ever comes to the orphan. Are you here for us to hurt? Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's so awkward. It's like, ah, do that again. Ow! Who or what are you? Meow. She's gone strange. I'm Bin. We live in the orphanage. At least we. We're dead, big person. We're dead. And you can't hurt us anymore. She's gonna keep doing that. Ah! 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 <laughs> She's like, stop, stop. Stop it, Meow. I don't like you hurting people. It's making you strange. So what is this, Sarah and Jimmy from Ed and Eddie, basically? This looks care. so much like Toph Bay Fong, it's ridiculous. Except without, like, the blindness and the hair thing in the back, of course. Uh, I can help you. you don't care about us. I might, though. Just ignore her. 
She's gone strange because of what happened when when the water came. When the Fire Nation attacked? Yikes. Then we clawed at the window. When the water was too high, we clawed at each other. Then we stopped. And we died. Other children survived. The families helped them and they lived. But nobody I should be a woman now with kids of my own. That's a weird thought. Did I have ashes and bone? That kind of sucks. Living one. We've been here for too many We've years. We've been here. We just want to sleep, but we can't. Not until the He sounds like the actor is actually Asian, though. I'm not really sure. For a price. You got any gold? No. Uh... We can't have... Okay, so I know what they're talking about. I'll bury your bones for you. Uh, fine, Kelly. I know where you find. So no. that old man I was talking about in the tree and... Whoa, my health is low. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Meow actually hurt me. Wow. Um, the old man in, um, in, uh, in the tea house, he's actually kindly Yushan, and then we can, uh, um, he can, uh, he can bury the bones, because he was the one who owned the orphanage, and he feels super guilty because he locked it up for some reason. I forget why. Uh, actually, because I'm probably not going to come back to the dam again for that side quest. I'm probably just going to, I'll meet you guys over at the tea house. Like a tea at the tree dome, one of the butt's best SpongeBob episodes ever. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, forgot about this scene. <laughs> Good thing I started recording it since I got I know to this. You keep saying you'll close the Great Dam. As Master Dutong isn't as generous as Old Mother Quan used to be. You can't stay here anymore. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. No, oh, I'm sorry, Yan Wan. Let me let me buy you a drink. Two bowls of wine and we'll drink a toast. He looks like a guy, you know, which is weird. Minus the eye patch. Lou, I don't have time for this. I have other customers to take care of. You have to leave now. No, I'm really pretty sure I have to drink now. <laughs> I need to get my courage up so I can go close the dam. Yeah, just another drink or two. Or three. Or maybe four. Oh, more wine? <laughs> the voice acting is so good, even for these side characters. Uh, I'll handle that. Uh, uh, I am Bruce Lee the Dragon. My, my, but I okay, yeah. Take me to the pirate camp. Uh, you know, Brandon's such a fast and low flowing river. That is what I am. A real loon. Especially when I've had my fill of So he's asking, uh, right I'm asking now. him to take the boat up <laughs> to is, the pirate cove where I might be able to get to a flyer. I promise everybody. Uh, you're not worth a zero and aid your help to stop the pirates. You, you mean that, don't you? Well, I may have a bit too much fondness for the wine, <laughs> but I won't turn my back on someone who needs me. Let's do it. To the pirate. I'll make my. Okay, I'll see you later. Uh, let me just back here. Remember. So, uh, I could go to talk to him later, and he'll take me to the Pirate Scope, which is the third dungeon. Uh, and I believe the last one that should be played in the right order. Uh, for the rest of the middle act, which is Tien's Landing. The middle act? I guess I could say that, yeah. Can't you just leave an old man in peace? So, here's Kylie Yusha. Uh, is Matt. Why do you care? That was a long time ago. Long, long ago. All I want... Why did you let the orphans die? I, I didn't... I wasn't even there. I was at the market buying food when the flood came. I ran back to the orphanage, but the water was too hot. The water kept rising. I had to flee. I came here with other survivors and settled this town. I tried to start a new life, but everywhere I go, I see little faces watching me. That's pretty scary and pretty sad the at the same time, man actually. Might have saved them. Sometimes I wonder, I wonder if I should have died with them. Uh, you sick of me. Throwing your life away wouldn't have saved them. No, it wouldn't have. But these days, I live a sad, pathetic existence. Oh man, you could really hear like the the, the the stoicism and the nihilism in his voice. Jeez, meet me at the orphanage. No, not the orphanage. The ruins are haunted. The children will be. You carry with them and you anyway. Now you can free yourself. I can carry this burden no longer. I must face the demons of my past and end this. One way or another. Okay, so, oh wow, you just go straight there. Um, that skips the uh, part of going there. I believe if you can do something here and that makes the children kill him. 
That makes Meow go crazy. And Ben's like, what the fuck? You... you live? All this time you were here, and I left you to this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Saying sorry isn't enough. You must Is she gonna do her hand thing again, this Toph Bay Fong Clo- He's doing her hand thing again! Ever. He's already recoiling from the hand thing! No, Meow. Yushan was not brought here so you could make him suffer. He must bury our bones. Do us Ben- Sorry, Ben, I'm letting Meow have her revenge! Yeah, cause that's- The right thing to do! Yep, no, I'm just kidding. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Did he bury him? And then he buried him. And I watch. I like how there's this, like, meat little ninny cutscene where I fold my arms and he's burying those dog bones! Those brightly colored, unshadowed, unaffected by lighting dog bones in the dirt. But whatever, it's fine. And I'm like, ha! Look at my serious eyebrows, ha ha. The bigger my eyebrows are, the more manly I am. That's what Kenshiro said. And Guts. And Bruce Lee. Amongst many other characters. Don't do it. See? Look, the light. Let's go into the light. Oh, they're gonna go into their bones and disappear. Thank you. Kowtow. I like how there's this mini cutscene, though. Uh... It's done. The bones of the children are buried at last. I just... I just wish... Oh, it's I fine, man. We all human. We make mistakes. I feel better now. I feel warm. I haven't felt warm in so long. Thank you. Thank you, living one. We can finally rest. Oh, she died. She... Well, they're both dead. And I must thank him, too. I have lived is there people fighting in the background? I hear that. Now that this is done. People are fighting in the background. What the fuck? Goodbye, living one. Goodbye forever. That sounds that's super like dark. Goodbye forever. Jeez.